One of the biggest stories uh, right now in the news is the ongoing problem with the Russian Mir space station. Mm. You guys have all heard about this thing. It's, for them. it's terrible. They've had fires. They've had collisions with cargo ships. And now, uh, a com this is the latest thing, a computer breakdown has forced them to shut down everything on the craft but life support. And uh, I got to say, spirit, I was imagining this today. Spirits must be running pretty low up there. It's hot, it's dark, and they're running out of oxygen. But folks, we do know one thing. Those cosmonauts are probably watching the show right now. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a part of basic life support. Exactly. This show. Yeah. Thank you, old pal. Mm -hmm. uh, they're probably watching the show right now, so I thought it might be nice to take a moment now to make those guys feel a little better. So ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me to cheer up the mere cosmonauts, huh? <laughs> This is gonna, they'll feel better. Yeah. They'll feel better after this. All right, now, mere cosmonauts, I'm talking to you. You may be having problems, but at least the whole world is still paying attention. You haven't been totally forgotten, like certain other people who are on extended missions in space right now, never to be heard from again. Like Shelley Long, <laughs> Michael Dukakis, and of course, Madam. These people were just uh, <laughs> long gone and hard yeah. to find. It's sad. Madam, we hardly knew ye. Exactly. Yeah. And mere cosmonauts, I'm sure you're feeling pretty homesick right now. So to cheer you up, here is one of your own countrymen singing a classic Russian folk song. And also, additionally, for the American who's on board right now, we've got something traditionally American for you. Uncle Sam. He does that well. Cosmonauts, stuck up there in space all this time, you must really miss the Earth. Well, here's a little video we put together that will remind you of Earth's simple pleasures. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. Just kicking down the cobblestone. Looking for fun. Cosmonauts, it's true you've had an amazing streak of bad luck, but, I mean, really, come on, there's a, been lots worse catastrophes than yours. I mean, the Exxon Valdez, Three Mile Island, or, or Conan's hair during the first season. <laughs> now, Cosmonauts, you may be concerned, you may be concerned about returning to Earth and being branded losers. Well, don't worry. Dr. Zachary Smith from Lost in Space was probably the biggest space bungler of all time. Yet, he had an incredibly successful career after he returned to Earth. He was a U.S. Senator from Minnesota. He was a military leader during the Persian Gulf War. And, of course, a wildly successful developer in Las Vegas where he even had a casino built in his own likeness. So I, I, I think he should feel better. Oh, that's a great casino. Yeah. You know, actually, you mere cosmonauts are already a big success in my book because thanks to your ineptness and idiotic mistakes, thousands of stupid people around the world can now dare to dream of pursuing a career in outer space. Take a look. I ain't scared of the dark, so I won't be scared of space. My friend said you get drunk faster in space. I'm there. I could totally be a cosmonaut. Cosmonaut! 
It's about time people saw who produces this show, don't you think? Right. All right, and finally, ladies and gentlemen, mere cosmonauts take solace in knowing that at least you'll be brought back home someday. Some of the original Russian cosmonauts are still out there floating around in space. Take a look at this live feed from the Vostok 1, launched by the Soviet Union almost 40 years ago. I was waiting for the laugh. <laughs> well, we hope that worked. We hope you feel better. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, Lucy Lawless will join us. We've got a great show.